Wow, how amazing to be here in the actual Albert Square. 30 years of happy memories. I mean, Pauline Fowler, she died right there. Uh, Roxy and Ronnie, that's where they had the car crash. Phil Mitchell, he was shot over there. Bradley Browning fell off that roof, and I am told this is where Tiffany cracked her actual skull. Oh. Mind you, tonight it's like a ghost town. Wonder where everyone is. Maybe they're in the Queen Vic. A cel yeah, whoop. A celebration of 30 years. It's unbelievable. 30 years of Albert Square. We've got our very own star-filled Queen Vic over here. Look at them all there. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I haven't thought of this before, having a pub on the set. It's a very good idea. So just behave yourselves. Don't kill anyone. Don't start a fire. <laughs> to be said to stars in the audience as well. They're all there, give a wave, go on. Oh. I tell you, it's, it's like the auditions for Strictly Come Dancing. It really is. <laughs> the numbers, the numbers for East are just astonishing. We have seen 16 murders, 44 fires, and 37 babies born on the show. Now, uh, now one, uh, there's a baby with one of my favourite characters, Mary the Punk, with her little baby. Oh. <laughs> and you know, I always wondered, what does Mary the Punk's baby look like? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Now, there have been 18 owners of the Queen Vic, including the legendary Mitchell Brothers. <laughs> Has there ever been a scarier set of brothers on television? Whoa! <laughs> To me, you slag. <laughs> Ron Mitchell ran the Queen Vic with his wife, Tiffany. Yes, he did. Now, she ended up in hospital after they had a huge row. Who can forget that horrific sound as the poor girl tumbled down the Queen Vic stairs? <laughs> Ooh, that's got to hurt. The Queen Vic has uh, seen so many different kinds of owners, though. From the tough, no-nonsense hard man... <laughs> To the dizzy blonde with a colourful love life. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that is uh, Boris Johnson there, one of the dozens of politicians who visited the set of EastEnders pretending to be popular. <laughs> and here he is, here he is with the lovely Barbara Windsor. Of course, typical Boris, one hand on her shoulder, other one grabbing her bust. <laughs> <laughs> so many memorable fights, ladies and gentlemen, in EastEnders. Remember little Mo walloping her husband with an iron? Yeah. Oh, do you remember that? <laughs> Oh, now, that's Trevor. But you do wonder, what would a man look like if he'd actually had an iron pressed to his face? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> now, there have been 70 deaths in EastEnders. Here's Pat Butcher on her deathbed fading away. Aww. Oh. She's gone to a better place now. Somewhere without that wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> You'd kill yourself, wouldn't you? You'd kill yourself. <laughs> Pat led a colourful life on the show. I love the episode when she was having an affair with Frank and nearly got caught when she left one of her earrings in his bedroom. <laughs> Pat! Pat! He left us behind! And that... So many affairs on the show. Uh, some of those ladies are quite flirty. Uh, do you want to see a picture of one of the EastEnder girls toying seductively with her knickers? Do you? Do you? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the thin bit goes to the back, June. The back. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> and of course, it's not just human actors that have made Walford their home. There have been plenty of dogs living there too, including Robbie Jackson's Wellard. Ah, oh, adorable, lovely dog. But I tell you, he didn't take it well when the producers told him he was being written out. No. <laughs> 
because the great thing is in EastEnders, just like in real life, the dogs grow to look like their owners. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Where does Sharon end? Where does Sharon end and Roly begin? I'll get you back. <laughs> One actor who's been in the show continuously since the very first episode, Adam Woodyat. Yes. <laughs> He's been there playing Ian Beale. Now, this is him in the early days. Oh. <laughs> But the amazing thing is, after more than 5,000 episodes, he's still as fresh and full of life as ever. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, you look good. Somebody kill me. Uh, so many people to talk to tonight, but before we get going, let's take a look at why EastEnders has been such an enormous success. Oh, stinks in here, doesn't it? Damn! Language. Thou shalt not bless thee. This, my sweet, <laughs> is a letter from my solicitor. Happy Christmas, eh? No! Uh, I said stop the car! Are we all trapped? I don't love you. And I never have done. I'm dying! You're not dying, sweetheart. You're having a baby. <laughs> Will you marry me? Phil was different. One minute I was looking at him and the next, ripping each other's clothes off. She's gone. No! No! Oh. Amazing! No! Hey, let's meet the first guest. It is the third king and queen of the Vic. It's Kelly Brown and Danny For you guys to see those clips and all that, to think it, it's so long ago. Yeah, but I seem to get shown that clip of the moustache most days on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's there to haunt. Hey, it was a happy anniversary, happy 30th anniversary, a happy 30th anniversary to you guys, and thank you very much for kind of helping us celebrate it. Uh, because it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Now, tomorrow, the live episodes begin. Yep. Everyone feeling okay about that? <laughs> a little leaky, I would say. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to Saturday. <laughs> yeah, Saturday, yeah. A so, leaky. Are, you, you, are you quite worried about the sweariness, Danny Dyer? I don't think it's... I think it's more the producers that are worried about it. I'm all... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's more about the leakage I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Because, Kelly, do you have much to do in the, in the live um, bits? Um, we've got a little bit. Oh, we've got, got, fuck, we've got loads to do, is not we? Minutes in, we've had a... Like a real husband and wife. Right. Yeah, lovely. Um, uh, but the most of it, I have to say, falls to. Oh no, really? Does it? <laughs> you have a lot of. No, the script's still censored. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that is scary. Because you know, on a normal day, it doesn't matter if you forget your lines. But this will be bad. Yeah, we've, we've we've got a plan. If anybody forgets their lines, we're just going to tell Ben Hardy, take your top off. <laughs> So it's it's live elements all week, but Thursday, Thursday, that's when we find out who killed Lucy Beale. Now seriously, I, I mean obviously you can't tell us, but do you know by now you must know by now? 
I, I, have, I, I think I reckon, I reckon Adam knows. He is keeping it low. Um, oh. but <laughs> in general, we're not, we're not no, going to no. torture you or anything, but do you know? You must I, know. No, I don't. I just need to know Are enough. you a bit thick if you don't know? You must know by now. If you've oh. done all the scenes leading up to it, you must know. I'm incredibly thick. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Letitia Dean? Mm, no, I wish I did. Have you asked? After 30 years, I think I should know. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't told you, have they, Danny? They have told me, but um, I'm, I'm just going to have to keep it low. No, they have not. <laughs> I, I would not trust you with a secret. No, no. I've, I've, just, I've just put 500 quid. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, on Friday morning, he'll be driving away in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, 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 none of us know. No, they, they, they won't tell us. Well, I tell you who should know. Lucy Beale and uh, <laughs> Hetty Bywater, who sounds like a detective. <laughs> she looks Hetty Bywater investigates. Where's Hetty? There, there she, she is. is. There. Hi, Hetty. Yeah. So, again, I know you can't tell us, but do you know? No. No, but that's very unobservant of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I swear, I don't know. I have no idea. And have you felt the pressure for the last however many months, thinking, I've got to look exactly the same as I did <laughs> when they killed me? Well, I had a fringe cut in my hair, and I didn't realise that I was actually coming back to do flashback episodes at this point, and walked into makeup a month before I started filming with a full fringe. Oh. So did they nearly kill you? Ha <laughs> 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 um, But. But now, beside you there is uh, Ben, Ben Hardy of the of the No Top. <laughs> and... Now, a lot of people think you did it. You do. How many people think Peter Beale did it? Yeah. Oh, what's it? No. Oh. Apparently nobody. Oh, you do. Oh. No, that was, that was an involuntary reflex. <laughs> oh, <Okay. laughs> Well, look, I, the thing is, you kind of thought, can they really keep the storyline going for so long? But, my God, they really haven't. It's so caught the public imagination. And online, people... I mean, there are some people who really... They really need to have a word for themselves. <laughs> uh, there's, a lady, there's a lady called Claire on Twitter, and she should, well, essentially get a job with the police or join the cast <laughs> of Broadchurch. <laughs> That's her wall. <laughs> That is the wall oh. in her house. What? That's, that's like what's it at Homeland, isn't it? Yeah, oh, there it is. Oh my yeah. Goodness. Uh, yeah. Then there's a lady <laughs> called Poppy. Now I'm not saying she needs more to do in her life, but this is her calendar for February. Nineteenth, <gasps> Lucy Killer revealed. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. And down here she goes, I just went to put it in my diary and realised it was already in my diary because I care that much. <laughs> oh, dear me. And some people on the couch may not know how close they've come to being pressed for the answer. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this. This is someone who took a picture of Kelly after a hard day's oh, no, acting. No, Have you seen this? So bless her, bless her, the bird loves an oyster card, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder, I said, listen, my life, and bless her, she's clutching her bag and all like an old girl. Like, <laughs> 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 We've been out for dinner and uh, he said, just get a taxi home. And I went, no, I've got a return ticket. But I was really tired. Showed me the ticket and everything. I went, oh, right, fair enough, I'll pay for you to get a cab home. No, I wanted to get dropped at King's Cross. That's the result of it. <laughs> Woody asked, yeah. oh, God. This is your car. I'm not sure if this is a confession oh, or an parent. accusation. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had a really good time going up the motorway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, spoiler alert, we have an exclusive clip, and I do believe this is from Thursday's episode. And I have to say, what's great about this clip is it just shows the kind of the care and just how it's going to be. I just think it's going to be an amazing week. Uh, it's very different for EastEnders, this clip. Here okay. we go. Murder. It's such an ugly word, and it? it's so black, so frightening. The thought that one human being could be capable of ending another human life, of snuffing it out, just like that, so quick, like it was nothing. 
but I've always believed just because a person does wicked things, it don't necessarily make them wicked. It's like a movie. It's good. It really good. <laughs> well, it's about three hours worth. Because <laughs> the whole week is yeah. that day. Is yes. that the idea? Yeah. And of course, uh, that clip reminded us there with lovely Laurie Brett in a beautiful dress uh, that it is, of course, your wedding day as well. Yeah, it goes on forever. <laughs> <laughs> but you do, I'm guessing that looked like a wedding reception. So you do actually make it to the altar. Uh, for once, yes. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Laurie Brett, there's Laurie, lovely Laurie. Hello. Hi. And They've got you a new dress. They didn't make you wear the old dress. No, thank goodness, no. Too first... dirty. Yeah, because the, no, the first time, it didn't both... Like, the weather was against you to begin with. That isn't good, oh. is it? <laughs> uh, then the day ended with a dry-cleaning disaster for the dress. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that must have been miserable, Laurie. It was probably the worst five days of my life. Um... <laughs> It was rain bars, which are freezing cold water pumped out of, like, a fire engine and in the mud for three days. But I would say... I don't want to embarrass you, Adam, but God, it please. was a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful thing. I'm the only person that's ever had a Winnebago on set in the history of EastEnders, by the way, because of that. Oh, Adam really? Had a, yeah. Adam, Adam, yeah. Yes, I did. I fight, did, darling, fight, I did. Fight. Yes, it was really... <laughs> But Adam had a wet suit on, but they had to reset me one day because we'd not, it, something hadn't gone right. And um, so I had to get washed, showered, reset, new dress on, and I had to stand in the rain bars again. And Adam felt so sorry for me. He held my hand and hugged me while I cried. Oh. While I got wet all over again. And I think that's probably the most touching no. thing any other actor's ever done for me in my life. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> He didn't actually offer you the wetsuit. No, it would, it would have shown through the very, very thin dress. OK. <laughs> so all these, all these marriages and, and things like the 30 years, do you... Because when you started, you, you know, you were a kid when you were 16, yeah. Yeah, so you're a kid, you, it's a job, you don't think, you just... Tish was close to that age. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he's been evil. Ooh. Ooh. Just, no, <laughs> nothing, Tish, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, do you remember, though, the moment when you kind of thought, right, I'm in this, I'm not going to leave, I'm just going to live in Albert Square? No, I've, I've never taken it for granted. I've could, never, they, I... could they still kill you? Yeah. I might be going to prison next week. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the two of you, you were really young, so, you know, it was a job, you come down. But, you know, Kelly and Danny, you'd done other things, so you went into it kind of more... Eyes wide open. More mature. Well, you know what I mean? But, you, you know, these guys didn't know what EastEnders was because yeah. it hadn't been. So... It's very odd, actually, starting a show that has already been running for... that you've grown up watching. You know, I kind of grew up watching it and I, I can remember walking onto that set the day I met you and we had uh, that little publicity photo done and we went and stood behind the bar of the, of the Vic and I, I was just like... This is surreal. And it felt very surreal for quite a while and, and quite daunting as well to come into it, but really exciting as well. And have you guys talked about an exit strategy? Have you got a kind of a, right, I'm going to do this for three years and then go off and do, I'm going to do this for five years? I think as long as they'll have you and they're giving you storylines, I think it's a beautiful thing to do. I'm glad I've done other stuff. Mm. For me, it's, it's like a retirement home and I can sit back. <laughs> It's tough uh, being an actor. It's, it's a great job, but it's a lot of rejection and, you know, it's cutthroat and it's, it's you know, it, it's, it, it's tough, man. You're just like, you never know when your next paycheck's coming. So, you know, I'm happy to sit back and play this role and be part of, like, this, you know, this show that's... I'm an East Ender myself, so, th so that means a lot to me. Yeah, very, very good. Now, I'm just going to remind people of the first time we met... Adam and Letitia, oh, people God. sat down on the 19th of February, 1985, Ooh. and we, we saw these fresh young faces. <laughs> Mum will like it. Yeah, of course she will. What do you think, Michelle? Oh, it's lovely. Of course she'll like it. I noticed you went asking me. Yeah, and I can't say I blame her. Look, I'll meet you later on in the camp, right? I'm just going to go and see Mum. Yeah, I'm assuming. Oh, so sweet! Oh. 
Do you think I look like Wincy Willis? Do you remember Wincy Willis? Wincy Willis. 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 TV and the weather girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wincy Willis. There is a whiff of Wincy. There is yeah. a whiff of Wincy. <laughs> but here's the thing. So what was amazing, like, because now shows start and they build, but this, that first episode got 13 million viewers. And by Christmas, it was getting 30 million oh. or something. So wow. do you remember on sort of the 18th of February, nobody knew who you were, and then on the 20th, everybody knew who you were? Well, I'm the goldfish or the elephant, you answer that one. <laughs> uh, it's so long ago, isn't it? <laughs> memory, just memory. 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 Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm saying, uh, have they shared a dressing room? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that one at all. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, do you know what? I never thought about it. No, we didn't, did we? I think yeah. they had a result back in them days. No one had a phone in that, did they? Not when I was driving Very mad. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. pen and paper, you yeah. were sweet. Carry a pen. Now, now everyone's got a, now everyone's got a phone. <laughs> So I'll tell you a little story now. I was having a pony the other day in a... <laughs> in a park. Does anyone need translation? And, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the camera came okay. over the top uh, of the cubicle thing while I was having a pony. You're kidding. Um, was that ratemypoo.com, isn't no. it? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> You know, when you're mid, you know, you're mid pony. You like, you, you, you... <laughs> you're not looking your best. He didn't have to deal with that. He didn't have to deal with all that years ago. I resent it. There would be no photo of me asleep on a train, would there? No, there, there wouldn't. Would be no photo no. of me asleep on a train. Next time you'll be in a cab. <laughs> uh, by the way, by the way, <laughs> talking of people who were in the first episode, <laughs> in that clip we just saw, there was a fleeting glimpse of a face we've seen a lot of. Someone else who's been on the square for 30 years. Can you see? Just in behind there. There you go. There you go. That is a character called Tracy. Oh. No surname. Yes. No surname. Yes. Never a storyline. Yes. Uh, that is Jane Slaughter, who's spoken a couple of times, I think, over the years. Never had a storyline. This woman's a genius, by the way. Let me tell you something now. Watch her behind the bar. Yeah. She can make herself look busy. I've seen her moving <laughs> bottles. <laughs> With a bottle from there to there <laughs> to there to there. <laughs> to there. Yeah. I want to start a petition. She, you know, she, she should be uh, uh, dined off, I feel, because uh, <laughs> there is a real art to what she does. I think people underestimate it. I think that she's like. Yeah! yeah. Think, and, uh, honestly, it's amazing what she does. Yeah. I mean, just there, through use of smiling and nodding, we've conveyed so much. It's good. <laughs> Lovable, she is. Well, lovely, she she's is. Quiet as a mouse. Does she speak? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> now, some people are Jenny McCockneys, some people aren't Danny, as you say, you are it. But some of the Cockney stuff you say, is it real or is it just Danny Dyer gobbledygook? <laughs> um, I'm not that intelligent, no, it's real. <laughs> no, some of the things you say. No, some, some of it, some of it's, um, oh, bulky. But, um... <laughs> he, called, he called Timothy West the other day Tiger Bread Head in a scene. It's yeah, absolutely true. Tiger Bread, tiger bread yeah. Head. Yeah. I said, you can't call Tim West Tiger Bread Head. He said, I can. And I'm no, like, he's dead. No, no, but we had to get it checked. No, it doesn't mean dead. It doesn't mean anything. It's just oh. Tiger no, Bread no, Head. No, if you look at his head close, it looks like Tiger Bread. It's just... It's... <laughs> Because he's lost his canister a long time ago, it's quite frickly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, they let me have it, yeah, but, um... Can you put yeah. C-Fax on? <laughs> no, yeah, you're just red. The red. How old is C-Fax? No, I was happy they kept Tiger Bread in, though. I was happy. But some of the castmates, I think they, they struggle. Now, uh, Matt D'Angelo plays Dean. Where's Matt? Yeah, oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, joking, yeah. oh, face of an angel, but oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the story that before you do a scene with Danny? Oh, we're, we're yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's happening here? A lot of people don't know this about Danny, but <laughs> he's, he's, he seems normal. He seems normal, but really? Yeah. <laughs> he's, not, he's not normal. And we've got some heavy, some heavy storylines. Mad, you'll back me up. 
We're doing some heavy stuff, and, and every now and then, after a 12-hour day, he'll lose the plot, so when he and, and he'll, he'll just start talking to a water bottle, or, or the <laughs> bell, he'll ring the bell, he'll ring the bell. Hello, the hello! Yeah, come on <laughs> in! He's developed this, this almost like Tourette's, or like a, like a limerick, That's true. Like, a, like a Danny Dyer limerick, a limerick, where he just starts going to himself, well, come on then, light in the pot, come on, well, come on, come on in, come and get your come on in, well, come on in, come and get your come on in, come on, get your come on in! <laughs> Get to come and get to come and on the outside, ladies and gentlemen. The first spin, he's going on the third look. That's what I thought, weird shit for hours. <laughs> Not for hours, now I'm about <laughs> caught with that. Hey, now, uh, who on the couch has been to Torquay? Anyone be Torquay? Torquay? I've Torquay? been to Torquay. 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 Yeah, right. points, yeah. yeah, of course, but you shouldn't because <laughs> you may not know this, but you actually live in Torquay because it's uh, Torquay's. Second most popular tourist attraction. There's no shame in that. It's Babacan Model Village. Now this, so a lot of it's outside, but inside they've got a really impressive Albert Square. Here's a picture of it. Look at that. That's incredible, isn't it? Mm. And really detailed. And of course, it's not just the buildings. They've made the people. <laughs> okay. So that's some of them not too bad. Uh, <laughs> like, I think Danny and Kelly, you've come out of it quite well. Oh. Look at you. You're all right, aren't all right. you? Yeah. Well, you look quite fit there, Dan. Yeah. And then the costumes are right. <laughs> let's, have look, let's have a look. Let's have a bang. Like yeah, okay, there you go. You can have yourself. Thank there you, you go. You will, you will have to go back to talk to you. I look a bit oh, like Pepe, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, they got written out. Cross. They just repaid it. Now the next. Oh, now. So we're going to be hideous. No. Well. <laughs> I, well yeah. I have to look. All I would say to yeah. you, Letitia, is. Size of a small country. You don't yeah. look like this. <laughs> right. You've never looked like this. And I'm guessing the person who made this model has not watched the program. <laughs> Oh I'm only bringing it up because they sent it to us and you're here. This is. Okay. I feel. I feel okay. mean. Yeah. You'll I'm like Camille with the short hairdo. Probably. Letitia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to make that to No, 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 that's... I don't have glasses on. No, that's... No, really, that's beyond... No, don't put glasses on. Really. <laughs> it's fine. It might because yeah, no, you look good, yeah. you look good. But now, here's the thing. Because, because Adam, you've Cankles. been in it... Because you've been in it for so long... Oh, my... They've, 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 got? they've had to make several of you. So, we run the gamut. We go from a uh, spotty stall holder. There you are, spotty stall holder. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> to dynamic businessman. <laughs> well, that's quite good, that one. Good. That's quite good. That's quite good. <laughs> that's quite good. Uh, from suave groom. They, they've brought that out about five or six times. <laughs> there we go. And they've right, even yeah. made, and this is brilliant, I think my favourite storyline ever, homeless Ian Beale. Oh, <laughs> Well done, Torquay's second most popular attraction. And thank you for now to Adam, Letitia, Danny, and Kelly. Go the group in the vent. I'll see you later. Okay. Now, uh, lots of familiar faces. Lots of familiar faces in the audience. Now, a familiar face, a very familiar face, Richard Blackwood. How you doing, sir? But now, we haven't seen you in the square yet. No, no. I've, I've been there, but... Yeah, it's so just... have you filmed bits? I, yes, just not on screen yet. Yeah, so yeah. when are you going to be in this week, from uh, tomorrow? Yes, I am. Yeah. OK. Now, they haven't just brought you in to kill Lucy Beale and then be written out again, have they? <laughs> no, no, no. OK. I'm not, I'm not the murderer. And are you in the live bit? Yes, I am, and I'm looking forward. Everybody's been really, really nice and friendly and kind of brought me in, so I feel really good. OK. Yeah, yeah. Good luck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you got somewhere to live? Uh, the, have, you got a, uh, have you got a flat? No, you see, you see that means I'm probably going to be written out, cos I haven't seen my place yet. You see, you have to have a place. <laughs> I didn't even know... If you don't have a kitchen and a sofa, you're not staying. I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like I'm not going to be there long now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look around. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Is, it, is it in the square? No, I'm actually a man with money. I come there and I... Yeah. You're not staying. No one rich stays. <laughs> <laughs> Walford has been up and coming for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Ricky, look Hello. at you. Hello. Hello, Hello mate. Good to see you. You all right? Yeah, very well. <laughs> it's so sweet to see everybody. It's a... Hello. Hello. Oh, my God. Now, you, you uh, remember your first day, the glamour and excitement of joining the square. It was the first week, and um, as anyone will tell you, when you start East End, it's your first big gig, and they put these lovely plaques on the dressing room doors with your name, Ricky Groves, uh, London Borough Wolford E20, and the iconic Thames symbol. Lovely. So there I am on a Wednesday, after starting on the Monday, thinking, hey, I've made it now, haven't I? Yeah. Next thing you know, there's this noise at the door. 
So I've turned round, I've gone, nothing there. You know. And it's happened again. Anyway, I've opened the door, there's a bloke with a screwdriver. <laughs> and he's hand like that. And I thought, what have I done? <laughs> what could possibly... What have I done? He went, you'll be all right. I went, well, what do you mean I'll be all right? What do you mean I'll be all right? How would you possibly know, you know? He went, well, Mike Reed's coming back. <laughs> I went, oh, that's it, innit? Like, you know, last in, first out. Mike Reed's back. He went, no, I've got to put his plaque up and I ain't got any screws, so we've taken one out of mine. <laughs> that's show business. That's show business. <laughs> I, I, just, I look over here. It's Dean Gaffney. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. Very nice to see you. And his sister. Welcome back. Pleasure. Welcome back to the square. Oh, is it nice to be back? It's lovely. Because, Dean, where, how long did you go leave? When did you leave? I was there ten years. So you've been out of it a long time. Mm, about ten years been out now. Wow. And presumably you still just get recognised all the time. Uh, the, the one thing that I get shouted at me every day is, where's Wellard? Uh, uh, <laughs> can I just say, just before you said that, there were people up there going, Wellard, Wellard. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? How did you end? I went to India with the term. OK. To find myself. Have you found yourself yet? I'm still searching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the minute you do, Robbie will be back. He will. <laughs> and uh, Tamika's here. Hi, darling. How are you? Hey. 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 Hello, Dabu. Very nice to see you. Hey. Now, because a uh, little bird tells me, Tamika, you've got quite the live uh, week coming up. Yes, it's going to be quite a big one. Yeah. As they say, yeah. No, because if we can't predict these, and actually, how weird, there is an actual pregnant lady behind you. Oh, uh, but... It's catching. <laughs> it's catching. It's catching. It's catching. Uh, because you are, if things go right, you are giving birth during one of the live yes. episodes. Yes, yes, I will be giving birth live. <laughs> in the live. <laughs> But that's... Have they got a little baby lined up and everything? They have something, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I can't say if it's a girl or a boy, but um, I yeah. hope the nation will be... And have you been rehearsing the live birth? Yeah, I've been like... <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> I tried to think about it. Have you given birth yet in real life? I have. That didn't look very convincing. <laughs> that, that <bit> just there. <laughs> She's here, she's live, she's away, she's okay. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Yeah, don't push too hard. That's, no. No, actresses have told me that, things can go wrong. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is so exciting. Right here, out of my peripheral vision, my peripheral vision, I caught a glimpse of <gasps> Mary the Punk. <laughs> it's Linda Davidson. Hello. So nice to see you. Years ago, didn't I? Yeah. In Edinburgh, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, I met you in Edinburgh. And I came to see you, and you were doing your one-man show. Yes. With the yeah, 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 yeah. All amazing. of that. God. I, a long time ago. I mean, the weird thing is, here's a picture of you as Mary the Punk, and you would think after that you'd be unrecognisable. But, but weirdly, into yeah, you, well, you do look very like Mary the Punk I still. I do now, yeah. And now you don't, you don't act anymore, do you? No. What do you do now? Uh, social and content. Uh, marketing. Uh, I have a company with my two business partners and we do that. We, we did your website for Channel 4. And very good it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I loved it. And lovely to see you. We'll talk to some more of you later. Very nice to meet you. Right. Uh, time to refill my sofa, but before we do, let's enjoy some more classic moments from 30 years of EastEnders. You'll never get me out of that thing. 
you can't tell me what to do. You ain't my mother. Yes, I am. Genius. And please welcome the bad boy in the strand as long-suffering Ma. It's John Altman and June Brown. <laughs> Just on my way home. <laughs> no, you're good. You're needed. Oh, you're needed. Oh, well, no, I can't. Do you want to take your coat? I'll, I'll take, your, take coat. your coat. Stay a while. Stay a while. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay. I've got to get my bag. Okay, right. you've got your bag. Yes, you've got, got your cigarettes. Yeah. I'll just straight that back Where's here. The lighter. Okay, okay. there you go. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's great. Oh, Welcome to you both. Very nice to see you both. Good to see you, Brown. Lovely. So, uh, Ribena. Yes, of course. <laughs> Your good health. Oh, lovely to see you. Yes, now, Ju, you yes. presumably, in all your years of experience as an actress, the live shows hold no fear for you. Well, the first one I did was in 1957. Wow. And I played in the case of the frightened lady. It was only the BBC. There was no commercial television channels in those days. And, of course, I was playing the lead in those days. <laughs> <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> hey, but now, here's the thing. So, the, the live episodes are coming. Now, I forgot to warn you. I don't know if you know, but on the Friday before this goes out, uh, Nick Cotton died. <laughs> oh, no, you, don't go yes. Don't punch the air. <laughs> so, now, in the live episodes, you're not coming back to life immediately, are you? No, not as far as I know. But, like, how many times have you died now? You're like, you're like the Rasputin well, of Walford. Yes. <laughs> Resurrected. Yeah. No, darling, you yeah. never, you never died twice. except this time. No, so it's, it's twice. You, twice. No, he's never died before. Well, no. clearly not. He's in it. But <laughs> <laughs> That was weird on the street because um, I couldn't actually talk about the first death of Nick. So everywhere I went, people were saying, hi, I thought you were dead, you know. You mean before you were dead? You mean... Well, after I was dead the first time. He's still with <laughs> Look at him, he's anybody in the room. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't actually there when I was dead. Do you, you follow? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But you weren't really dead. No, I wasn't no. really dead, no. no. But now, June, mean, I don't June understand as an actress. what's going on, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but as an actress, you must be running out of ways to react when he shows up to go Aloma again when you thought you'd never see him again. Well, I try very hard to make them different, you see. <laughs> I do get an odd laugh, believe it or not, amongst all these episodes. But yes, and I... We, we have quite casual conversations when we'd be... Like, I'd smoke in one. Two scenes we mm. smoke in, or two I smoke yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. You're gasping for breath. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I gave up, you know, so I, I, I smoked herbal once. I actually got a picture of June and I uh, in, in one of the studios a few years, but under a no-smoking BBC... Sorry to grass you up, Ma, but... <laughs> that caused my lungs to go, you know, cos I can't speak as loudly as I used to. I could have filled this with no mic once upon a time. Yes. You're still doing quite well, I would say. Your lungs well, are, I would say, working at 95%. They're not too bad, but they're yes. not perfect. All right. Um, now, here's the thing... And that's cause... all that puffing. <laughs> puff, 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 to get it down. Now, so you can't nothing. blame EastEnders for making you smoke, too. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you came into a restaurant once <laughs> where I was working and you opened your handbag and there was nothing in it but some EastEnders photographs for you to sign and about six boxes of Dunhill menthol. <laughs> <laughs> All on the BBC. Yeah, yeah. but I don't... No, yeah. they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got my facts from the BBC. It was great. You did one, one scene and get a whole pack. They're yeah, meaner now since the recession. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, the thing is, you know, you meet members of the public uh, when you're uh, in EastEnders, but you also meet royalty. And here's a picture of June with Her Majesty. Uh, now, that's a picture of you you're holding, June. <laughs> yes. Did you get the impression the Queen watched EastEnders? No, I said to her, how dreadful. 
I think it was when I was getting my medal. And uh, she said, I enjoy East End. And I said, but you don't watch it, do you? I forgot to say ma'am, I forgot to say your majesty, which I'd always done before. I said, because it clashes with your dinner hour. And she said, because Prince Philip had said that. So <laughs> she looked bemused. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave me... A, what she does is give you a little push. <laughs> <laughs> now... I, I'm not sure how much the Queen would enjoy the pictures that feature in the EastEnders Children in Need calendar 2015. Now, this is uh, you, June, in the laundrette. I assume you're doing a service wash or something. I, I don't know. Uh, now... <laughs> now... I saw Davu. Davu's up there. Yeah. Now, is it true this is the first time you'd ever met June? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was always such a massive fan of June and Dot, and I couldn't wait to meet her for the first time. And I had all these things I wanted to ask her and talk about. And I was just standing there in some baggy white boxes, as you can see, just yeah. like that. And I was... I didn't know what to say. He's <laughs> taking his jeans off, you see. The point was, it was my idea as usual, and they wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> I wanted to be in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> is it, I, I mean, they wouldn't let me... Do you know who wouldn't let me do it? Health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> they thought I was going to be electrocuted in the dryer. Well, I was always standing with my head in the dryer and my bottom out. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, so I wanted to be coming out one lovely leg and health and safety said, no, you can't do it. So I yeah. said, it's a closed set. <laughs> but it didn't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm contractually obliged to show this picture of Ben Hardy. Oh, right. <laughs> um, now, poor Ben. <laughs> poor Ben. It, lovely, lovely. And yet the photographer has punished you by making you hold two jars of pickled eggs <laughs> and putting uh, a kind of fish and chip shop hygiene hat on. <laughs> I've been rinsed for that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you agree to hold two <laughs> jars of pickled the, eggs? The initial concept <laughs> was me holding that jar naked, just holding that over oh, I my, see. Uh, my over your eggs. nether region. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that was the, uh, the modified version. The oh, jar wouldn't hold it, would it? <laughs> 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 uh, well done, everyone who took part in the calendar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Very good. Time to meet some more of Albert Square's most iconic faces. I'm over the moon. It's Cat and Alfie. Please welcome Jesse Wallace and Shane Ritchie. Here they are. Hello. Hello, brother. Hi. Lucky to see you. Hello, sir. Kissy. Kissy. Sit, 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 sit. And she's back from the dead. Let's have a look to Lovely. You may stroke my muff if you <laughs> I will stroke it. It's warm. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's lovely. It's not safe. It's not safe. <laughs> Lovely. Welcome oh, all. Welcome uh, all. To be is this kind of nice seeing each other, or is it a bit kind of just? Oh, oh it's I've not, I've not seen Pam for a while. Because yeah. my dressing room, when I first started in the show, was uh, upstairs, and it, uh, we used to sit and chat yes, when I first absolutely. joined the show. Oh. And I'd sit and talk to Pam. He was get... a font of all knowledge, weren't you, darling? Well, I'd get so much advice from you, and it was incredible. <laughs> Some of the stuff she used to tell me. You know. Speak up, darling, because I'm a bit deaf. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the, you say about uh, missing Pam, and we, you know, I think as viewers we miss you, but oh, do you, you miss it, or is it like this huge weight's gone out of your life? Oh, do I as hell miss it? Of course I do. It's like, oh, I know it's always overdone, this family, but, you know, it, it really is like a family, and, you know, you, get, you work so closely with people, you get to know them so well, and you get to love some and not love some others, but, you know, <laughs> but that's the minority. And it's great. It's absolutely great to come back. It just feels like home. And do you watch Family now? <laughs> do you, like, do you watch EastEnders? I do drop into it when I can, yes, yes. So, yes. no, no, that, that's no. a <laughs> <laughs> I drop in when I can. <laughs> He's a bit busy, darling, and yeah. away, away a lot. Yeah, actually. if it's on in the house and I'm passing, yes. I'll look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, spoiler alert, ladies and gentlemen, we have a still has been released from next week's episodes. Ooh. Could this be Cat Moon catching the killer? 
Uh, <laughs> 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 who, who's that in the cake? <laughs> Sonia, Natalie. Yeah. Oh, and I Natalie. Takes because it was like it was two tiers of cake, and we did one take where I pushed her face into it and then pushed it again. We had to do another take, and she went, "There's an odd bit there." And I, <laughs> say, and I pushed her. Face I mean, Jess, hang on a minute, Jess. I said, That's got really hard now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The like layers of sponge layer. and jam have gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's come out her face was like that. <laughs> Just dripping with cake. Did you have to leave the cake on? Forgot well, to use it. The funniest thing was we were meant to. Oh, finish during it the lunch hour. During the lunch hour, we went, we were meant to finish it before lunch. So we've, we've done the scene, and my head's in the cake, and I've got icing on, and uh, I said, we're going to break for lunch now, and we're going to come back and do a few more shots on this scene. <laughs> and I was like, right, OK. So for the whole of the lunch hour, I was sat with the <laughs> <laughs> icing and sponge on my face. And it Ooh. was cream cheese. She stank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't need any lunch, did you? No, it was lovely. <laughs> no, lovely. Make hey, your way through the prop. <laughs> now, uh, here's the thing, Pam. Uh, Pat Butcher... You know, is such a kind of creation. And I wonder, well, you know, because she's far from you. Oh, yes. yes oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Distance, oh, yes. distance, distance, distance. <laughs> oh, Pam's uh, very posh. So <laughs> 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 The look on EastEnders, like the earrings, the, the incredible earrings, was that you? Was that a costume designer? How did that happen? No, that was, that was me, because the character was based on, on somebody I saw fleetingly on a number 38 bus in Hackney. <laughs> Um, and and an another woman who worked in the bakery okay. in Hackney, and uh, and I just saw these the, the, the bangs and the at the front of the the, the the fringe and the earrings, and I thought that's the look I want. Because the BBC uh, costume department have kept some, and you know uh, you remember them being big. You mean you know you, they're big earrings, but like you don't realise just how enormous they are. So you mm. see them in like, like look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they're really nuts. They're real. I mean, we've got that. Yes. You wore those in yes, the show. Yes. Like, did they make them specially, or could you buy them in a shop? Well, actually, there's an assortment of things, and most of those I think were purchased. Those were made. The De Monte ones were made. I mean, well, they well, they are beautiful. They were de um, they were made yeah. by, yeah. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> by, by hand. Yeah, by hand. But a lot of them came from fans. It was wonderful. People used to send in earrings. Because ah. there must have been comets in the sky <laughs> smaller than those. <laughs> <laughs> with those big earrings, Jenny, because they pull your lobes down. I know that. I know that. My <laughs> lobes are down by my tits Any now, lobes so. are <laughs> Actually, fans are clever. You should win every award going uh, for the title of your book, which has just come out. What's it called? End of an Earring. Oh. <laughs> Good, right? Was that your idea? It's uh, it was... I, I thought of that not as a title, I thought of it as a, just a phrase uh, before I left. And actually, somebody on the production team, our dear Rona McKendrick, um, she also thought of it at the same time, because our minds work fairly similarly, and everybody was wearing a T-shirt with end of an earring on the um, final episode shoot. Oh, And now it's a book. very touching. And now it's a book. Uh, now, Jessie, do you think Kat is maybe slowly morphing in to Pat. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's the costumes. No, no, that's what I mean. That, yeah, the costumes are... It's oh, like... I'm your mother! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it is... I'm your brother! <laughs> <laughs> no, we've, got, we've got a picture. This is, this is Pat. And then, look, Cat is just picking up the mantle. Look at that. It's, it's, yes. uh, it's yes, okay. the animal print. And uh, talking about Pat, you have to mention one of the favourite relationships in the square, yourself and Frank. Yes. Because uh, that really, that was such a kind of believable relationship for all those years. Yes, it was. I mean, we fitted each other, I think, physically and emotionally. And yeah. he was fantastic to work with, and I miss him a lot. And actually, I have to say, though, Alfie and Kat... I know that's not your real names. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alfie and Kat, that's a similar thing where... You know, you keep coming back together. It's been that's a long like for a soap. That's been a long relationship. It's been you. twelve years now. Wow. For when uh, Alfie first got together with Cat back in two thousand and two. Yeah. Yeah, and it happened by accident as well. 
It was um, it was never supposed to happen. I think I, I heard I, I, when I first started on the show, I heard a rumor that I was going to come in and be like a love interest for Peggy. They were going to do this cougar story. <laughs> no, honestly. <laughs> and there was, and, and I remember. Wow. Do you know what I heard about it? <laughs> and I remember thinking, okay, everyone's now going. That would have been really good. <laughs> Uh, and then we had some. We, we did this one scene where a uh, cat comes into the bar and Alfie uh, offers her a job behind the bar or something. And they saw the chemistry that we had, not just on screen but off screen. And the writer said, okay, let's make this a slow burner. Will Alfie get together with Cat? And it kind of like it started building for a year. Will they or won't they? And that was uh, like 12 years ago. I think that's the best thing that happened. When they find by accident yeah. mm. that people mm. have chemistry, yeah. you know that suddenly they find these two people really have something together, and they hadn't intended it. Mm. And I think that's the only true way that you can get a partnership. Do you understand me? Yeah. You're getting serious now. Do you want us to no. talk about no. acting? No. <laughs> I have no interest, you. No. None. I'll give you, None. I'll give you a masterclass. <laughs> a masterclass on that. But Jesse, because you. You're not a couple, but you've been a couple in the show for so long. So now you've known each other all this time. Does it make kind of kissing, kissing, uh, all that stuff, does it make it kind of weirder? Because if you don't know each other, it's kind of easier. <laughs> Is it easier when you didn't know each other? Like your friends, aren't you, darling? We're best friends. Yeah. So it, be kind, it becomes sort of m mechanical in a way. It's like... Maybe for you, love. <laughs> she likes to slip the tongue on her. <laughs> He slips stop, the finger. Stop. <laughs> 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 it was bound to happen. Yeah. It was <laughs> bound to happen. <laughs> uh, but the other thing is, it, so cats are lovers of the show, but women outside the show, sort of Shane or uh, Alfie, Alfie yeah. is a real turn on for women. Really? I've seen women go gaga over him, completely gaga, and it's like I'm behind him going. You don't know him. I think that's a lot to do with. I think people spend ten minutes in my company; they realise I'm quite boring. But I think because of far from boring. No, but I think with Alfie, when he came into the show at the time, there was a lot of hard men in the show, a lot of big, you know, big guys and gangsters and all that. And Alfie came in with his nana, looking after his nana Moon, yeah. and also Spencer. Oh, the nana Moon. You know, and Spencer. And Spencer. So yeah. he came in with, and it was he his character. Came in that with a family. Yeah, and he and he, he was looking after his nana. They and were I think actually based on the Trotters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, really? yeah. Alfie, Trotters. Nana, was based on Del Boy, Rodney and Granddad. You've got Granddad, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's what it's based on. But the fact that he was but so gentle, you see, that was what every you. woman yeah. wanted. Ooh. It was attractive. It was... And so they spent ten minutes with me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was more like Alfie, you know what I mean? Uh, now, here's the thing. It's very rare I get to say this to a guest, but Pam St. Clement, what a slapper. I mean, you... <laughs> <laughs> no, Hansy. But you're very handsy. Well, look, I thought, I thought it would be nice to get you to demonstrate your technique. But as many people as you slap, you've been slapped back. So let's take a look at your greatest hits. Face facts, Dot. You know, I saw a woman. <laughs> you couldn't give a drunken sailor with a bowl of rum a good time. <laughs> what? No, will kill you. You get for me. No, take back what you said, you bitch. Did you? I've never quite been able to stop myself from loving Pat. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hope you all enjoyed the fireworks. Good night. OK. So, uh, we've come over here to the, to the scene of the crime, the actual Queen... Well, this isn't the actual Queen oh, Vic. Part, this is just okay, a set. Look, look, look. <laughs> I was disappointed because <laughs> is it true that in your Queen Vic the, there's beer in the pumps? Yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah, yeah one, one pump. Them. One pump. One pump. Now, apparently, <laughs> that can get people into trouble, Danny Tyler. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Uh, uh, I glassed myself up. I was having half a lager um, <laughs> every half hour. And, uh, <laughs> I think they put TCP in it now. <laughs> to stop you. Still nice. <laughs> 
fresh breath. <laughs> no, no, they've got and to put real beer in it because the, the moody beer don't work. It doesn't oh, froth no, up. No, it's because yeah. of froth up, probably. Oh, yeah. Now, I, 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 there's an indelicate story about to happen, so cover your ears. Oh, yeah. Because it's not just booze in the Vic. Uh, Shane, is it true? I love this story. I, it says so much about just working on a soap. That uh, the thing about Viagra is that oh, true? Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know about this, do you? So know. I'll tell you now. That was Cliff, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Adam knows about this. Cliff Parisi, who played Minty, uh, <laughs> back. He, he we were doing a scene in the Queen Vic, and it was like almost like the end of the day. And he said, "Listen, I've got Vi Viagra just come out." And he said, "Listen, I've got these little <laughs> tablets that can arouse you." He said, "If you take it now." And about half hour, <laughs> you'll be ready for it. Okay? <laughs> and we're, we're doing a scene, right? What, 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 ready for Minty? Ready for Minty? Right. And I lived about 20 minutes from the set, and Ricky was in the scene, I think Perry and Cliff Parisi. And he's passed these out, and I said, what, what you He said, if you take one now, in 20 minutes, and we were coming to the end of the day, so I knew I was going home, and all the lads were. Out. So we popped one of these pills. Right, first time ever we've taken them, and we're ready to go home. And he said, it, and I lived about 20 minutes, half hour for a moment. Everybody lived close to the set. And as we were leaving, the director went, no, no, listen, we've got a fault on the set. We need to do the scene again. <laughs> <laughs> so now, 20 minutes, we're behind the bar. I've never seen all the lads stand so close <laughs> to the bar <laughs> with red faces as they've kicked in. So we're all standing there, off and out with Viagra, doing this scene. And that was thanks to Cliff, who played uh, Minty. <laughs> We opened some pork scratchings, Pat and Sharon, and there was a pig's foreskin. Do you remember? <laughs> it really was. I thought I'd throw that one in, Sharon. Who <laughs> put a pig's foreskin in the scratchings? Well, it's, it's all bits of show, pig's isn't it? Oh, I see, so it was just accidental. It yeah. was accidental. Pat oh. went, oh, look, that's a pig's foreskin. <laughs> did you eat it, Tish? You did, did you? I went, it's shot away the face. <laughs> 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 okay, so now here we are. We're here to talk about slaps. Um, so uh, my face may be red because I'm going to ask you to demonstrate a slap, but not really right. hit me. No, 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 absolutely. Now, not. by the way, in that montage, we shot, like, are many of the slaps real? Some of them are, Graham. So yes. which ones were real? Some of the Peggy ones, the ones where I was behind the bar with her and Frank. Oh after yeah, the that end She yeah. discovered that. Yeah. We did that for real. Um, there was one, I think, when June slapped me. Which was for real. It depends on the position of the cameras. Oh, I mean, obviously, about hitting they, people's face. Yeah, they yes, I, I put your hit your face yeah. and your jaw had been out of kilter. Do you remember? Yeah, you put it back. And it hit yeah. it back into kilter. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a trained doctor. Uh, OK, <laughs> so if we do the traditional uh, insults, if I, yes. uh, I'm, I call you a bitch, you call me a cow, or is it yes, around? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I do we bitch, you do cow. OK, <laughs> and we've, we've got a sound effect as well. OK, so... You bitch! You cow! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> okay, do that okay? Do that okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, not harder. Okay, okay. Do you want to try one? Sorry. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, uh, <laughs> we will. Well, where's your cat, man? Yeah. No. He had a little pop at Tish earlier. Yeah. <laughs> He's been sleeping with cat. Why don't you Okay. Well, I won't use the lamp. No, don't use the lamp. Right. <laughs> All you'll do is I'll give okay. you a back hand. Okay. Look okay. me in the eye. Look me in the eye. Okay. Look me in the eye. It's always eye contact. Right, okay. Ready? Okay. All right. Yeah. See so you. Right. You're taking a piss. Get out before I. Oh. Is that good? Is that good? All right. Don't get into it. It's very healthy. All right. Okay. Matt. No, do not no. love me. Matt. No, don't. Have you been sleeping with cat? No. You have, haven't you? No. You have. No. <laughs> Anyone? No, Abby doesn't slap people. Uh, oh. Oh. I'm Tracy. Get out of my pub. Oh. 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 She speaks. She speaks. Oh, lovely to see you. Oh, and maybe that is it. We're out of time. It just meant we to wish all of you the very best of luck with an amazing week of shows. And here's to the next 30 years. Yay! Take yourself back to the very beginning and see the first ever episode of EastEnders. Just press the red button now. And tomorrow we begin the big revelations. Who killed Lucy? It's live week on EastEnders from 7.30.